right, I'm making this video today because of what happened between uh, Ray J and Fabulous. Um, things started out like it's just a normal beef, you know. Ain't ain't nothing. I mean, it's Ray J and Fabulous. I mean, Ray J and Brandy Bow. It's two people that we really don't care too much about. And things escalated when Ray J did a radio interview and he said something at the end of it that would just be infamous. It will it will live in infamy for the rest of our lives. Now when you hear Ray J, you're just gonna associate this with Ray J. He said at the end of the at the end of the interview, I gotta drink some water and get my because I'm gonna try to do my Ray J impersonation. So bear with me for a second. You know, he got the California accent now. Like I, it's real thick. It's it's straight out of Minnesota society. And he say, um I'ma call the homies that like niggas. And they gon' rape this nigga. They gon' bend this nigga over and go up in his booty. That's what he said. And at the end of the interview, and it was like, what? I mean, it's the funniest. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Flag on the play. That's what this is. Flag on the play. Hold on. Time out. We got a flag. Time out. 20 second. Holding. Legal man downfield. Personal file. Whatever else you can think of. Just whatever else symbol you can think of. Hold on. What's it with? You telling me, Ray J, that you know dudes. That will rape another dude on sight. They not going to go get some condoms. They not going to go take a shower. They not going to go do nothing. When they see Fabulous in the street, they going to rape him? You know dudes like this? And at the end of the interview, he says, you know, y'all, I'm sorry. I just want to go back to being positive. Nah. Uh-uh. There's no going back to being positive after that. You know what? I've heard, I've been around a lot of arguments. I've heard people say a lot of wild things. I've heard people say, you I'm so mad, I can spit. I'm so, I'm so mad, I can spit fire. I'm so mad, I could, I could, I could shoot bullets. And I, I, I could spit bullets and, and shoot a gun out my ass and shit a gun. I've heard a lot of crazy things. I ain't never heard somebody say, man, I'm so mad right now, dude. I'm going to get some people to rape, dude. That's, that's the end of the story. Point blank. Dude, you getting raped on sight. By my mans in them. And then he want to go back to being positive. It pains me to do this. It really does. It really, 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 really pains me to do this. But I got to defend Ray J. Because he's not the first person to say something suspect like that. He's, he's, he's not. And if you think he is, you're wrong. Because history always repeats itself. So I, ha I had to remember... What's the first suspect thing that I heard somebody say? And people just let it slide. And the first suspect thing that I remember somebody saying was Dr. Dre on the chronic. If you go back and listen to Dre Day, please. Or you can you can even just read the lyrics. You ain't even gotta listen to it if you don't like rap. It's the most suspect song. It's like at least times you go pause, what'd he say? Pause, what'd he say? Snoop and Dr. Dre on that song. Just go back and listen to it. That's the first time, and nobody paid no attention to it. Everybody was singing along with it, riding like it wasn't nothing. And you listen to the lyrics, and you're like, what do you say? Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. Uh, uh, you got a gap tooth in your mouth, so my dick got to fit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to holler 187 with my, with my dick in your mouth, fool. Nobody said nothing about it. It was just, hey, yeah, yeah, 187 with my dick in your mouth. Yeah, for real. Nobody, nobody said. And this fool, I remember. I can't remember if it was this CD or another CD, but this fool is crazy. He got one song. He rapes everybody in the house. He, if you got a heartbeat, he rapes it. He he rapes the goldfish. He rapes granddad. He rapes uh, little orphan Annie. He rapes everybody in the song. Like he he got a little too crazy. He raped. Wallpaper, drywall, sofa. He just go off, and I'm just like, dang, dude. Like, I've never been that mad before. I hope I, I, and I never will get that mad. I will never get that mad where I can say, you know what, dude? Get on. I'm so mad right now. Just like Pinky, like. Ugh.
I'm so mad, I'm going to have sex with you. So you better get out of my face. I'm, I'm that mad right now that I'm going to have sex with you. I, it just don't happen. I, I don't see it. And, and for Ray J to know somebody that does this on site, they ride around. <laughs> I think he said they're going to ride around in the Escalade. They're going to just look for a dude and they just going to hop out. And Fabulous is just going to get raped. It's just on site, like on demand. Boom. On site, you're getting raped. Another instance of another pause moment, another suspect moment, Mike Tyson. Now, Mike Tyson, some people call him Iron Mike, but his real nickname is the baddest man on the planet. And you know what type of bad, you know what type of awful person you got to be for your nickname to be the baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson. All that comes before his name, Mike Tyson. Iron Mike, that ain't... Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet. Come to the ring with a towel on. Just read it. I think it was against Evander Holyfield in the um, the press conference. Way in or something. And he get in an argument with a reporter. Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson says something to the effect of, you're not man enough to live in my world. You know, you're not man enough, you know. You wouldn't last five minutes in my world, faggot, hoe, bitch. Then he said, I will rape you till you love me. He's not talking to a female reporter. He's talking to a male reporter. And he says, I will rape you till you love me. Not till you care for me. Not till you, you know, say me as a friend on Facebook. No, I will rape you till you love me to another man. And you know what? Let's be honest. It got us hyped for the fight. We was like, yes. Mike gonna kill somebody. Mike gonna rape somebody in the ring. Like, yes. He's like gladiator. He said that. And I don't know, man. History always repeats itself, so this is gonna happen again later on down the line. I'm just waiting for somebody to just slip out and just say something like, man, me, me and my man. We going to come over for a gangbang. Like, I mean, what is... Because it got to be something bigger and better each time. So, it's like, we, we me and my homies going to come over there and we going to blow you. That's what we going to do. I, I, we, uh, what is going on? He want to go back to being jolly and happy after saying that? No, you can't. You can't. It's, that's the suspect moment of the year. That's the suspect moment of the decade. And, and this decade just started. So, somebody going to top it. I don't know who, but that was... I can't believe he said that. I can't believe he know dudes that rape dudes on site. 